Hey, hey, y'all. Thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Sonata. Can y'all believe it's New Year's Eve? By the time you see this video, it'll probably be New Year's Day or, you know, into the new year. I'm going to try to upload this video in tomorrow or, you know, I don't know. But it'll already be New Year's. So, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Can I believe it's the new year already? So, today's New Year's Eve. It's 12 o'clock. I just heard the church bells go off. I live um, on a street where there's a Catholic church at the top of my hill and at the top of every hour, their church bell ring. And I love that. I love that sound. So church bells just rung. It's noon. I'm getting ready to get out of here and just go run some errands. I'm going to have lunch with my mom. And then later today, I really don't know what I'm going to do. Like I usually don't do anything on New Year's Eve as of late. I just kind of just stay at home. Um, and I, even if I step out today, I'm going to be back home early. I even thought about going into work and picking up an extra shift because it will be double time. But um, so I'm going to play all that by ear. I do want to get a planner. And so I want to show you guys. So in years past, for those of you who know, been with me for a while, my channel, I used to always do planning videos. And I would just, you know, for the month, I would show you my monthly spread. And I would buy all these stickers and put all my plans. In, and it did keep me motivated. It really did. Um... I have so many of them because I used to do it for a long time. And then this particular year, I actually had a planning party and we did, instead of a vision board, we did a vision book. You just kind of write your things down and um, there was pages, yeah, pages to do some journaling and real good concept. But in 2017, um, when I felt like my life fell apart, like lost my job that I had for 14 years, lost my marriage and so I just stopped planning because I was like, it don't matter if you plan or not, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. Da, 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 da. And I was discouraged from keeping a planner. Not that I'm going to come back to doing planning videos because I'm not, but I am motivated to do a planner. So I'm going to go out and buy me a nice planner and keep my work schedule in, which I'm learning that it changes every week. Um, it's not always because you. I mentioned before in my last video when I said I got a new job, I'll be working three 12-hour shifts. It started off three on, four off. That is not how it is. It has been one on, one off, one on, two off, two on, one. It's just crazy. So I'm, and, and I could check my schedule on my phone, but it'll be easier if I just write it out in my journal, in my planner, along with my homework assignments. And then there's other things, personal things that I'm going to be intentional about this next year. And there's something about being intentional, writing it down. All those years that I was not keeping a planner, I literally had the attitude like whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And I would look at the top of the week, figure out what I got going on. Like, okay, this, this, this. So I was planning in that way, but I wasn't being intentional about a particular goal or anything like that. Um, So all that has changed. I, I, I got that back. I got that part of me back where I'm being intentional, having a particular goal in mind and whatever. So I'm going to go out and buy a, uh, I keep saying a journal. I do want it to be a planner slash journal. And then, um, go to the grocery store, pick up a few things for myself and my mom. And then I'm just going to eat lunch over there. There's someone I need to visit at the hospital. And then, from there, my cousins were planning on getting together, and they still might. I don't know that I want to do that. Um, my son's in-laws, they cook. They have a big old um, New Year's Eve celebration where it lasts three days. Um, literally. And so last year when I went over there for New Year's, New Year's Eve, and, you know, ate and hung out with them for a little bit, and then I left, and they're like, you coming back tomorrow? And so when I did come back the next day, for lunch, there were people there that had spent the night and then they just stayed for the brunch and then they were going to have a birthday party for my son's uh, mother-in-law because her birthday is the second. So it literally is a three-day celebration. So I'm going to go over there and hang out because the food is always so good and it's just good company. So, But I'll be back home before 12. I'll probably be asleep before 12. <laughs> And yeah, that's it. And I'm going to spend time in my journal. I spent time this morning kind of just, you know, getting getting my thoughts together, thinking about 
um, and talking to the Lord. I was talking to the Lord, talking about 2022, this past year. And I hope you guys are doing that to just kind of reflect back on last year. Um, obviously, it was challenging for me. Not obviously, but, you know, it was challenging for me. But it was good in, in a lot of ways. So it's like reflect back on what was challenging. What did you learn? Did you, you know, what did you learn about um, last year? Things like that. So getting all that situated in my head and then spend time this evening just writing out my, filling out my planner and um, my goals and what steps I need to take for those goals and being intentional. Oh, I'm, I'm really excited. And I've never said that. It's been a long time that I've said that. So I just thank God for healing, right? So anyway, I'm going to go and I'm, I'm definitely going to come back and show you my planner because I'm really excited about my planner. So I will be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It is officially New Year. Happy New Year. So, um, I was going to put this on my lips. <laughs> um, yesterday, I didn't make it out to the hospital to visit a family member like I intended. Someone called and said, oh, he's real sleepy. He's just sleeping, you know. And so, I was like, eh, I'm going to go today. I didn't want to go um just for him to be asleep although that could be the case today but that's okay i'm going today and um last night i went to my son's in-laws real calm chill night had a good time and so today um you know today is sunday funday so it's the usual go to my mom's eat and then um hang out with the cousins for a little bit i do have to work tomorrow and i want to get back home and meal prep oh yeah i'm gonna cook some chicken oh yeah i got an air fryer hold on let me show y'all my air fryer yeah i am so excited about my air fryer i know i am late to the air fryer game i know a lot of you You've been using an air fryer for years or whatever or for a while. I never wanted an air fryer until recently. Okay. And so I have a pack of chicken wings here that I am going to try for the first time in the air fryer. I'm a meal prep. I'm going to meal prep a little later. i use my air fryer. I'm so excited. It's five by eight quarts. It's a big one. So, I'm excited. I'm going to have to show y'all my wings later. All right. Okay. I've never wanted an air fryer. When they first came out, and it was just all the rave, I was like, mm, I don't eat fried foods that often. So, whenever I do, I want some real fried food, like for real fried chicken. But I've seen where you can just cook so many different things on it. Girl, I can't wait. I had got an uh, Amazon gift card for Christmas. And I bought me one. Love it. Well, I love the idea that I have it. Haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try to show y'all that process. Or at least show y'all how my wings turn out. I think I'm going to make some potatoes with it and a vegetable. And that'll be my lunch for tomorrow. And then dinner when I get home from work. This week I work. I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's, it, my schedule is weird. I skip a few days in there. And then next weekend, I'll work. They originally said I had to work one weekend day, but it looks like I'm scheduled next Saturday and Sunday. We're going to see. Anyway, hope you guys had a great New Year's. Let me show you the planner that I ended up getting yesterday from Target for $10.00. The perfect size. I carry it in my work bag. I haven't started filling it out, but I'm going to do that this evening. I'm going to get back to the house. Prep my meals. Get my planner written out for the month. And just wind it on down.
I need some new mascara. And that's it. I'm just gonna throw on some eyeliner. Real quick. Spray my face. Pop on a hat. I was looking for um, because I'm wearing kind of a sparkly shirt today. Just because, and then I have a, a hat that has some sparklies in it, but I couldn't find it. But I did find this one that I have forgotten about. So we're going to pop that on. And that's it. Okay, so this planner is so cute. I love uh, the size of it. I think it's a four by six. And they have so many different ones, but I wanted a particular layout. I wanted it to work for me, so... The first page is just your goals. And it has a place for six goals. I may fill this first page out or I just may not. Um, I may. Because one thing I like about... Hold on, I got a cough. Excuse me. One thing I like about um keeping a planner, like I said, I haven't done it in a while. But I will always like to go back to the beginning of the year to see what my goals were. See what I did for New Year's. Because sometimes you forget, like, what did I do? Last year for news, you can go back in your in your journal, your planner, and look and see, you know, what you were doing that last summer, that previous, you know, that kind of thing. So, uh, anyway, so January the first month, I love that it has the full layout, the month at a glance. So I will fill out my January schedule, definitely my work schedule, but then. Then it has the breakdown of each day. So the first is down here, but then starting tomorrow, it has each day. You can just look at your week at a glance and see, okay, what's due this week? Who do you need to call this week? What's going on this week, right? What assignments are due? What days I work? And then I like to come back to it at the end of the day and just use, I'll use this page right next to it as my journal. I like to journal out, um, you know, my thoughts, how I'm feeling, just different things if something significant happened or whatever. I really like this. It's, um, it's too big for my purse because I don't carry a big purse. Um, at least right now, I'm not carrying a big purse. But my work bag, perfect for my work bag. So I'm going to sit and fill this out, write out my goals for the year. I got some goals this year, y'all. <laughs> Oh, it just feels so good because I never, I I always had goals, but I never wrote them down and I never was intentional about them. Except for the school. Going to school is a big, huge deal for me because I had gotten laid off my job that I had for 14 years, a really, really good job. And then when I was trying to find another job, I could not find a job in that field and I could not find a job. So I just settled for a job. It happened to be in healthcare though, but... Not definitely not doing anything that I'm doing now, but um, I was like, unless I am intentional about my future, and I know I'm older, okay, but this is what it's gonna be for me. I have to reinvent myself, I have to be intentional about that. So, I went back to school not just to get a random degree, but specialized degree in mental health. Therapy, a master's in mental health therapy. Um, and so that's what I'm working on, and I'm almost done. And so then I just secured myself um, a job for the rest of my life. I can work that job for the rest of my life, work for myself in private practice, and as long as I'm able to. And so Instead of, and this is just going to be my quick message. So if you are not happy with where you are, whether it be your job, uh, your social life, anything spiritually, you have to be intentional about changing it because it doesn't make any sense to every day dread going to work or dread whatever. You have to set out to make a change. And be intentional about it. And so, I actually love the path that I'm on. It 
it, it was drooling. It was just, and, and it still is. School is, it gets harder and harder with each class. <laughs> each class, it gets harder and harder. Like, Lord have mercy. But I'm almost done. And so, that's the one goal that I'm working on. But in this journey, until I reach the destination, in this journey, there's some other things that I'm going to be intentional about. And, um, yeah, anyway, I can go on and on, but I'm going to stop there. I'm getting ready to get out of here. It is 1227 in the afternoon. And I just love um, taking my time getting ready um, on the weekend, like not in a hurry, just moving slow. I know um, I had said I was going to go start going back to church. Um, because during the pandemic, you know, we all weren't going to church. We was watching it online and I just got comfortable in that. I started school during the pandemic and I just got out of that routine. Um, Sunday ended up being a homework day or, um, and today's the last day before classes resume on Monday. So, but when classes are in, Sunday is usually a homework day in the morning. And I was watching church online, but I don't know. I don't know that I even want to go back to church. Um, I kind of do miss the the fellowship or the community, but I don't I don't know. I I don't know. I think I'm good. We'll see. I'm not saying I'm not gonna ever go back to church. Um but I don't even know why how I got on that topic. Cause today is Sunday and it's the first Sunday and I probably should have went to church today just to start the year off right. But I started the year in prayer and so I don't know you guys. I'm rambling. Let me get out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see y'all later. Gross. My mama's country. Pig feet. Got some pork chops going. And it's a New Year's tradition to have pig feet. It's a... To have... What am I trying to say? It's a tradition to have black eyed peas on New Year's Day. What kind of meat is that? Hog malt? Uh huh. And the peas. Uh, Isn't that what's sticking in the dog? Oh, no. Come on, the camera. I'm just grabbing some meat before I come in. Okay, y'all, cheers. Happy New Year. Y'all see them pig feet? One of my cousins requested that my mom make pig feet. And then she put that meat in them peas, that hog mug. Mm. No. So I just had a pork chop sandwich with them pickles. It was so good. But anyway, I'm cooking chicken later in my air fryer. Y'all stay tuned for that. Um, I'm making chicken. Oh, I gotta stop at the store. Cause I want some fresh green beans. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all my meal prep. Y'all saw my son called me to come over to his in-laws. I told y'all it's a three-day party. A three-day party. Can you say hi to him? My YouTube people. That's my son. He don't like to be on video. But say hi, Caleb. Really, Melo? Really? Really? <laughs> Say hi to the people. He's not happy. He just woke up. He said, later for y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. Smelling, poo poo. You finally smelling? Ooh, ooh. I saw you smelling. You feel better? Okay, y'all. Yeah, so I got five buffalo and they are so hot my goodness and then five um lemon pepper oh 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 hey y'all it's late 
It's almost nine o'clock. I gotta go to bed. But ooh, 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 I gotta just try it. I already tried one of the buffalo ones. And it's the uh, Louisiana buffalo sauce. And I blew a fuse. That's why it's dark in here. I can't. Some kind of way I blew a fuse. I don't know. I got to go downstairs and reset it. But this is the lemon pepper one. And I already know it's so good. I'm going to pack me some ranch in the morning. This is my lunch. Ain't no dinner. I got some potatoes on the stove. So I didn't do the potatoes in the air fryer because I wanted to cook them at the same time. Yeah, I cook more than one thing at the same time in your air fryer. Mm. But my potatoes is cooking separately. And I didn't do my green beans. So I don't know. But y'all... Mm, mm, mm. Stay tuned for more air fry recipes, y'all. I'm late to the party, but I'm here now. So good. And I didn't blow a fuse with my air fryer because I had been since turned that off. I don't know why my light ain't coming on. Anyway. Amazing weekend. Y'all. Mm-hmm. That was so crispy. But then when I put them in the sauce, it kind of took that crisp away, but they're still crispy. I didn't go through the whole process to show y'all. Just because I wanted to do it first. And I was in a hurry because I'm tired. I had no plans of going to my son's in-laws today. But they called me. I went over there. So much fun. Y'all. I got an air fryer. It's on. Thanks for tuning to my channel. Don't forget, <laughs> don't forget to click the like button. And click the subscribe. You guys, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back. I got to go get my potatoes off the stove, get my lunch all packed up. And that's it, y'all. Look at this one. Ooh, look at that buffalo one. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I got to go. I done found something new. It is on. I'll see y'all in my next one. <laughs>